Natasha, and I am joining you from my house, which is located on Tree Six territory and the homeland of Métis. And I'm joining you today for a festive fun video. And today I'm sharing with you um, one of my family traditions where we make tartières, which we eat every uh, Christmas Eve. So that's one of our holiday traditions. And tartières is just a meat pie, and it's very traditional for a lot of um, people with French backgrounds. So it's something that my my mom used to make every year and that my mom makes every year for our holidays. So I've already made the meat filling over here and I've let it cool down and I'm kind of cheating. I'm using these store-bought pie crusts, but if you're gonna make your own pie crust, that's even better. And I've rolled out some more dough right here for the top of our pie crust. And the activity I'm showing you isn't making the pies as much as assembling them. And we do a special tradition with our pie crust top, so I'll show you that. So once your meat mixture is cool enough, you can put it into the, the bottom crust. There are a whole bunch of different tortilla recipes. Ours is really simple. We just do ground beef, salt, pepper, garlic, and then we thicken the we thicken the mi mixture after it cooks in broth with a bit of mashed potatoes. So I'm just filling my bottom crust right here. I think I'll actually give that one another little scoop. And try to get it to the edges. And then this is the tricky part. Once you have this rolled out, you want to pick it up and put it on top of your pie. So I usually use my rolling pin to roll it over. on top. And I'll just go around and pinch the edges wherever you like. Some people use forks. I'm just going to do what my mom does and use my two thumbs. And just trim off the extra dough. Sure it's all pinched on the sides here. Okay, so we have our top on, and then this is our family tradition. The part that my mom always had the kids help with every year. Is we take a knife and then instead of just adding regular pie arrow holes, we always draw a little holiday scene on here. So Sometimes we'll draw a tree or some stars or some ornaments or maybe even write happy holidays on it. So I have to think of a design for the top and then I'll poke it in, draw it with this knife, making sure I don't do the lines too close together and then I'll pop it in the oven. So I did a tree on mine here. And then I just added some more little slashes with the knife for to let the steam escape as it cooks. So I'm gonna put these in the oven and I'll show you what they look like when they're done. Happy holidays. <laughs> 